All right, folks, in this quick video, I'm going to show you two ways that you can upload your DTF gang sheets to BeastTSublimationInc.com so that you can purchase customized gang sheets from us. So let's get started. So the first thing you'll do is notice I'm on Brittany's website, and the two options you're going to see, as I'll show you, the two options for uploading is a custom DTF gang sheet and upload a DTF gang sheet. So right now we're experimenting with an app, right? And I'm going to show you that in a moment, but let me show you the first way where you can upload your own DTF gang sheet. So if you click on this, you'll notice the pricing options are right here. So a 22 by 36 inch gang sheet is $40. A 22 by 48 is $60. 22 by 60, 70. 22 by 72 is 80, right? So let's say I want to make a 22 by 36 DTF gang sheet. Here's how you do that. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to Canva. And you're going to go to the home page on Canva. You're going to click create a design up here in the corner. And once you pop that up, you're going to click customize size. You're going to change this to inches. Let me zoom in so everybody can see that. And you're going to type in here 22 by 36. And that right there is going to give you that dimension that you see right here. 22 by 36 and then you're gonna click create a design. And what that's going to do is it's gonna give you, now this is, the, this is the layout you have to work with now. So anything you can fit on this image right here, when you upload it to us, we will print that on your custom gang sheet for the price that you see right here. So for example, if you want a whole lot of little designs printed on this one gang sheet, it, whatever you can fit on this gang sheet is what we will print on it for you. So let me show you how to do this. So I'm going to click over here on the left where it says uploads. And I like, I love these dog pictures, these dog images that Brittany's been making. So let me go ahead and just drag some of these on here. There's a St. Bernard. So I know that this whole width of this layout right here is 22 inches. So if I drag this corner, you see right there where it says 8.2 by 11. Now it's 7.6 by 10. So it's 7.6 inches wide and 10.2 inches tall. That's for the whole image right there. So if I drag that down a little bit so I know I'm only getting the image because that's what I'm paying for is the size of the image. So now it's 7.4 by 8.6. So let's see if I can drag this up right here in the corner, right? And I'm quickly going to throw the rest of these on here as well, too. I'm going to see if I can fit all these across the top. So you can size them however you want to. That's the cool, part, cool thing about making your own gang sheet. So check that out. That looks pretty daggone good right there. And if I knock them down a little bit so those look good so what i want to do now is i'm just going to select all three of these and i'm going to hit this button that says duplicate drag them down and i'm going to hit it again and then let's see if i can get one more in there check that out so i've just been able to put one two three so 12 images on this gang sheet so now what i'm going to do because this is what i want this is what I want. Again, you could put anything you want to on here, but this is for the sake of this demonstration. This is what I'm going to put on here. So this is how to export it. This is very important. So you click this share button. You click download. Make sure you have a PNT or P, I'm sorry, a PNG file type selected for the size. I like to drag it up to about the middle right there. And I like to click this button that says transparent background. It's very important that you have a transparent background. If you don't have a transparent background, you're going to get an email from me that says, hey, you don't have a transparent background. We can't print this for you. And it's going to hold up your gang sheet. So make sure you do that properly. So I'm going to click download. And it's going to take a moment for it to download. But when it does, again, I'm on the computer. So it's going to save to my computer. So whenever it downloads, I'm going to hop back over here to... Brittany's website and I'm going to hit this box right here that says upload your gang sheet and it's going to go right here it's a local file means for my computer I'm going to click this button and I'm going to go to my downloads there's the image I just downloaded or that I just uploaded and right now it's uploading it's taking a moment almost done and as soon as it's done it's going to give me the ability to say 
All right, that's the image I want right there. So it's sized perfectly. You don't need to do anything right here other than click add. There you go. Now it says ready for checkout. So I'm gonna add that to the cart and then I can go buy. That's how you do that. So real fast, let me show you the other way. This is we are experimenting with right now. So if you go back over here to DTF prints, right here where it says custom DTF gang sheet builder, right now we're experimenting with an app. And this app, yesterday it wasn't working. Today it's working, so take it for what it's worth. So for this here, let's say I wanted to build a gang sheet in, inside of this app. So right here on the, on the product that says custom DTF gang sheet, you're gonna click this button that says build your own gang sheet. And it's gonna open a gang sheet builder for you. So then what you're gonna do here is you're basically gonna upload the images that you want to put on your gang sheet. So I can upload those three images that I just had from my other that I uploaded on the Canva image. And what I'm gonna take here is I'm gonna take those images, upload them to this little app, and I'm going to drag them on. There, let's see here. There we go. I'll make that tad bit bigger. Let's see if I can select all and duplicate. All right, check that out. So it just duplicated them all the way down, which I think is pretty daggone cool. I'm gonna cut these bottom ones off here because it's too long. And if I wanted to, Notice how confusing that got real fast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do one at a time. Click on this. And what it's doing, it's just giving me a notice that, hey, you're overlapping here. So there we go. Now I've built my gang sheet. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to click save and add to cart add to cart and exit. And now I've just uploaded that gang sheet to my cart and it's ready for checkout. So now what I've done here is I've got two gang sheets that I've built out, two options for you. Either one's gonna work great for us. We can't wait for you to upload your gang sheets because we love printing them and sending them out to you. I think it's the coolest thing in the world right now. So if you have any questions, please let me know.